Hello, hello again, this is Z Stutter and Hillbilly back again for the second episode of the Batman Telltale game. Um, we'll just jump right back into where we were. We tried to stop Selena and she got away. But uh, we're backtracking between Bruce Wayne and, and the Batman stories. There's Harvey Dent, Two Face, and Greed under Mayor Hill's authority. I promise you, a vote for Harvey Dent is a vote to finally put your foot down. That's really annoying. Should have turned off the fire those little... and save our great city. If only Mr. Wayne, my campaign's largest backer, could have heard that applause, he would. Sh well, there he is, fashionable and fashionably late as always. Say hi, Bruce. Enjoy drinking my wine. It's worth more than most of you. <laughs> no, he's he's kidding. <laughs> Is that expensive? Thank you. Thank you again. <laughs> yes. <clears throat> Together, we will change Gotham. <clears throat> Mr. Wayne, thank you for opening your house to us. Now, I know this is the biggest mansion in Gotham, but I don't think you got lost on your way here. <laughs> Where were you? I know you prefer the brooding billionaire angle. So the sooner we make nice with the donors, the sooner everyone will leave you alone. Relax, it was important. Not more than this. I know you despise these things, and truth be told, I do too. What? A chance to show off your teeth and talk about yourself to a room full of money? And secrets. It's called playing the game, Bruce. And tonight, if you hadn't noticed, I'm playing for City Hall. No one came here tonight to see me. You want to see the Bruce Wayne, am I right? <laughs> and I can see him just fine from here. This shouldn't be painful. It's not a kidney stone. It's only a little face time with potential donors. Your face, specifically, with a mouth that's saying, Support Harvey Dent. We're the grease, they're the wheels. And they're rolling in enough cash and votes to help make Gotham a place for families again. Ah, a little liquid courage before facing your adoring public? No. This'll help you too? No. Once I've turned this city around as mayor, you'll be a hero for funding my campaign. Now all I need is a decent slogan. I'm terrible at those. It always makes me sound like a used car salesman. <laughs> you know, how about, uh... Put a dent in crime. Hmm? Look at you. That's not half bad. I'm gonna use that. Bruce, I meant what I said. Together, you and me, we are not giving me very good douchey from comments. Where children can play in the streets again. That's what I want too, Harvey. But you know how rough it is out there. We have to shake things up to make that happen. At least by my standards. Start with a few hands. Hmm? Come on. Mr. Wayne, I'd like to introduce you to Bob and Regina Zeller, Bob. Of course I know these two. Hello, Bruce. Regina here is the chairwoman of Wayne Enterprises, and her husband... Voted for Mayor Hill last time. I'll admit it, Mr. Wayne. I don't know Mr. Dent from a pothole on Main Street, but I trust your family. If you believe in Dent, we believe in you. After all, whoever you support is a reflection on you. And we trust someone like you to lead this city to greatness. Well, my name isn't important. What is important is Mr. Dent's campaign. Like well, it or not, the Wayne name carries weight in Gotham. I understand. I just don't want to throw it around. Old families like ours should flock together, you know. Like birds. You're preaching, like dear. Bats. No, it's true. The Waynes and Zellerbox are reminders of the golden age of Gotham. This city's luster faded years ago, Mr. Dent. Look at Gotham now. Murder in the streets, corruption in City Hall, that Cape Bat Freak dealing out vigilante justice like it's the wild goddamn West. You'd better damn right believe it. Nage, seems you're getting cranky in yours. There's always hope. Forgive me for being blunt, but one man can't save this city. 
But a bat family can. You think so? That's how you get creeps like this Batman. I'd say it all depends on the man. Sometimes you need a person who will go off script. Such as dressing up in a bat costume? And taking out the criminals who ruin our city. Though the cape may be a bit much. <laughs> and don't worry, though. I am not doing this alone. With Bruce's help, we're replacing the dangerously unsecure Arkham Asylum with a state-of-the-art mental health facility to help Gotham's most at-risk individuals. It will be dedicated to Thomas and Martha Wayne in the hopes that their fate will never be repeated. After all your parents did for this city, oh, to be killed in a botched robbery in some alley... Just rub it in. Is terrible. Truly terrible. Uh, a tragedy like that at such a young age it must have been crippling. If only that deranged man had gotten the right treatment, maybe... Uh, well, I don't like to think about maybes. And I'm sure you don't either. Uh, yes, well, that was a long time ago. I've moved on. Of course. Of course. Together, we'll help the whole city move on. <laughs> Not saying I doubted you, but that went better than expected. It is a night of bringing endorsements. Oh, well, hello. Harvey Dent, Gotham's next mayor. I'm eager to know you. Vicki Vale, not interested, and reporter for the Gotham Gazette. This is a private fundraiser, Miss Vale. No reporters allowed. Well, you don't mind if I stay and ask a few questions, do you, Mr. Wayne? Well, you can ask me whatever you want at the press conference tomorrow. Actually, I do mind. If you're not on the list, you're not here. Sorry. We'll talk tomorrow, then. Mr. Wayne, you've... you've got something on your collar. Um... is that blood? Yeah. It looks like... Uh, actually, it's, uh... It's lipstick. Well, no wonder you were late. Say no more. Yeah! Player, player! Another guest has arrived. I'm sure they'll find the bar. You may want to greet this one personally, sir. Is that Falcone? Carmine Falcone? Yeah. Is the Dent campaign soliciting votes from Gotham's biggest crime family? Falcone's never been convicted of anything except being a businessman who loves this city. Excuse us, Miss Vale. And what kind of business do you think he's in? The one that controls enough votes to get me into City Hall. This is mm. evil politics. Bro. I don't know. It That's kind of sketchy, Harvey. For all of us. Kind of sketch. At least hear him out before you kick him out. I okay. requested to speak with you directly. I don't want him in my home. Actually, you don't want him angry. Trust me. I'm not concerned about that. I'll beat that man's ass. Play nice. No. Not happening. I do what I want. For a new house. Decent walk-up, sky-high ceilings, plenty of room for my cars. I think I'll take it. Though the decor offends my eyes. <laughs> Man, all flash, no class. Well, you couldn't afford it. Yeah, right. Come on, Falcone. Thank you for welcoming me into your home. You're a respectable man. Nope. Gentlemen. Perhaps we'll all be more comfortable. Man, I'm not going to lie. Making these choices bothers me. Because <laughs> it's just not how I would respond to stuff. You should know, Mr. Falcone. My analysts say we're raising triple with Mayor Hill. At... Hey, what's... Private audience. Oh, come on, guys. Bruce. You'll be fine out there, Harvey. 
I saw plenty of skirts to keep you busy for a few minutes. We talk alone. Just you and me. Sorry, Harvey. Yeah, I'll, uh... I'll get a drink or something. Christ! Yeah, well, that's just like Harvey, huh? Wants to make sure the rules are followed. But, in my experience, there's the law, and there's doing what's right. You understand? And I'd rather see Harvey actually help this city instead of just saying he will. The man talks too much, chaps my face with words. I understand more than you know. Good. You look smart. You dress smart. Glad it adds up to something real. I ain't here to chinwag about politics, Mr. Wayne. Gives me indigestion. I got enough of that as is. So, let's talk relationship. Chalk this for me. Be a pal. I can get Harvey the mayor's seat. Or I can pull it out from under him. Nah, you don't disrespect me in my own house. Whatever happened to being a gracious host? Okay, imagine. This is me. And these are all my friends in Gotham. The businesses, restaurants, clubs, docks, unions, politics. I'm not gonna be strong-armed around like this. I'm Bruce Wayne. I make them all move. And I want to keep everything moving if Harvey gets elected. That's why I came here tonight to your lovely home, hoping to make a new friend. One who can help Mr. Dent see the light, if need be. Yeah, that's not happening. Hey, this isn't a deal with the devil. Yeah, it, it's a deal with the Batman. You listen to me, kid. I know somewhere inside that tuxedo you understand this situation. Money gets money. The risks, the alliances, the hidden costs. Your father knew which hands to shake. And which to break. I think I'll have someone see you out. Okay. Okay. So that's how it's gonna be. People don't say no to me. Not for long. Master Bruce, your guests are leaving. I recommend seeing them out. You wouldn't want to be rude. Heed your butler's advice, kid. Oh, and I'm no longer interested in buying the house. The owner's a prick. And he's gonna get what's coming to him. Bring it, son! All right, I think that is a good stopping point. Now, as far as the choices I made in this one, ah, uh, kind of tough. I didn't, I wouldn't have gone the route I did. I'll probably play through this on my own and uh, uh, see what happens differently. But uh, I don't like being strong armed around like that. But I feel like more has come down on Bruce for not being a little more cordial. And I probably would have let Vale stay. But, that's just me. Um, th we'll just uh, continue onwards next time. So that was the end of the little intro to the game. Uh, we still have a little bit left of the first e e e episode chapter to go. But until then. This is the Stuttering Hill Billy. And I hope y'all enjoyed.